Here are 11 quick tips for living in Thailand. The first tip is to search for the internet and the accommodation at the same time. It has been known for some expats to find their dream accommodation in Thailand only to find out that the internet is very weak in that area. AIS is perhaps one of the strongest internet companies in Thailand and if you input your potential address into the AIS website you will be able to see how strong or weak the connection will be. The next tip is specifically for the gentleman and that is to be very strategic about dating. I'm about to tell you a subject that very few expats know about and that is that there are big groups on places like Facebook and Line and other applications for Thai women who date foreign men. And from their point of view, there's a lot of different reasons why there's groups like this exist. But for most groups, it's an opportunity for women to talk about somebody who's perhaps a bit of a player or genuinely not a great guy. Unfortunately, there are some good guys, some good gentlemen who do get mixed up in this. Therefore, when dating, just be fairly strategic and always be careful what you say. The next tip is to use TransferWise. TransferWise is now known simply as WISE. I've added a link in the description below for more information. But essentially TransferWise allows you to spend money in different countries, convert money at a very affordable rate. The fourth tip is health insurance, as health insurance is a must if living in Thailand. The hospital costs in Thailand do vary, but they can be fairly moderate. The cost will depend on what kind of treatment you are having done, what kind of hospital it is, and where the hospital is situated. And this is why health insurance is highly recommended. Next, we're talking about your lifestyle, and your lifestyle will alter heavily depending on where you live. Across my videos, I often talk about areas areas such as Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, and this is because these are highly underrated cities. But in this example, they're great for illustration purposes. The lifestyles in these cities are very, very cheap, it's very relaxing, and it's a great place to live. But on the downside, it can be quite slow paced compared to areas such as Bangkok, Koh Samui, Phuket, etc. So it's a great idea to do some traveling or some research about different areas before you decide where you want to live. But one of the great things about living in Thailand is that you can live anywhere and easily move from place to place. Next, we'll be speaking about money again, but specifically for those who are looking to earn a little bit of income when living in Thailand. There are indeed available teachers teaching jobs in Thailand and Western teachers get paid anywhere from 30 to 40,000 baht and Filipino teachers get paid around about 20 to 25,000 baht. Filipino teachers are increasing all over Thailand and it's become a very popular job for Filipinos because as you are probably aware the Filipinos are impeccable at English. The next tip is about time and specifically now. Now is the perfect time to move to Thailand. Government officials as well as many expats believe that the level of tourism that Thailand once had will return in the next three to five years. But despite the news and everything that's going on now at this moment in time is the perfect time to fly to Thailand. Number eight is to find expats and other groups to avoid loneliness. It's amazing when you move to another country, especially Thailand. It doesn't matter what kind of character you are as we all need some level of connection. Luckily in Thailand there are many different social groups. Take a look at Facebook or an application called Meetup for more information. This is followed by Lazada and if you are not familiar Lazada is almost like the Amazon of Asia. In essence, you can buy absolutely anything on Lazada. Often the prices are very cost effective and the quality is high. However, just like every platform, there are some low quality items being sold. Number 10 is to learn Thai if possible as it really makes life so much easier when living in Thailand. There are a few different methods that people use to learn Thai. The first option is with Rosetta Stone. The second option is with an online Thai teacher. And the the third option is through YouTube videos. And the last tip for living in Thailand is to enjoy your time. I can confidently say you will absolutely love living in Thailand. But just like every country, there are indeed pros and cons. 
And sometimes things such as how society works in Thailand or how immigration services operate, as well as many other areas can sometimes make expats feel down. And many of us move to Southeast Asia because we want to have an enjoyable time, we want to enjoy our retirement, we want to just have a stress-free life. And whatever kind of lifestyle you are looking for, you will most definitely find it in Thailand. So my friend, just enjoy your time.